After getting millions from virtue signaling corporations and celebs, the Black Lives Matter movement is about to get another massive windfall, this time from liberal mega donor George Soros's foundation, Open Societies. It's injecting $220 million into the movement in order to radically change America's criminal justice system. $150 million will be doled out to so-called racial justice groups, can't wait to see those, including those that want to end policing as we know it. That's the language he used. Joining me now is Raheem Kassam, the National Pulse Editor-in-Chief and co-host of the War Room Pandemic Podcast. Raheem, you looked into these groups. Tell us what you found. Yeah, look, I think one of the things we have to remember here and dispose of the idea is is that George Soros is some, um, you know, philanthropist who just wants to do good in the world. He's not. He's an activist and he doesn't particularly care about minorities or migrants. He showed that in 1992 when he bankrupted minority families and migrant families like my own when he shorted the pound to enrich himself. And he's showing it now again. You know, what he cares about is getting Democrats elected and he's willing to throw money at whatever causes uh, allow that to happen. And these causes that he's looking at right now um, are, are effectively tied to Democrats. They're inextricably linked. You look at who uh, Black, uh, Black Votes Matter, for instance, is one of these groups on the receiving end of all this money. They are intrinsically linked with the Netroots Nation, this hard left progressive conference that goes on every year to push further and further to the political left. These aren't the kind of sort of arm's length NGOs without partisan agendas that Soros and, and, and the mainstream media would have you believe. You have to look beneath the surface. You have to look at uh, their charitable status and what their charity rankings are. And frankly, these are just political organizations we're, we're seeing Soros giving to. Again, they have been fr there from the beginning, saying mm -hmm. for themselves, we exist to get rid of President Trump. That's what they're saying in their own words. Now Soros, again, arguing mm -hmm. under the guise of philanthropy, is, is trying to get Donald Trump unelected using these groups. And what has he done in his own vast uh, corporate structure as far as elevating minorities into senior positions. Well, nothing so far as we can see. We actually went to Soros's hedge fund uh, yesterday and asked them the question, uh, you know, how many uh, ethnic minorities, how many blacks have you had, uh, African-Americans have you had at the top of your organization as managing directors in their Soros hedge fund? Um, the answer is none, of course. We've checked it out. Uh, but they won't respond to the question. The truth is it's only of use to him to help out on these issues when it helps him push his bargain basement pseudo Karl Popper philosophy he doesn't actually care about these issues. As far as I'm concerned, Laura, he's wearing political blackface. But the left loves that. You look at Governor Northam, you look at uh, Justin Trudeau. Th this is the new Democrat Party, the same as the old. But uh, really quickly, uh, he made all of his money, his billions, in the free market, in the capitalist system. Coming from Eastern Europe, uh, as he did, what's going on with him? Everyone I know his age from Eastern Europe are conservatives. They, they love America. And they don't want it to change. 15 seconds. What's your theory? And you look at the recent election results over there. You know, George Soros is trying to pull the ladder up behind him. He's okay, Jack, and he doesn't want anyone else to be. It's disgusting and it's a disgrace. He was offered the best and he now wants the worst for everyone else. Raheem, uh, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for looking Thanks, into Raheem. this for us.